trust your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? I'm back on my... <clears throat> I'm back on my spot at the tree. Beautiful. Sun, a hill. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's there. Are you there by yourself? No. Mm -hmm. Who's there with you? Look around you. What do you see? I want to say it's my guide. Mm -hmm. Connect with your guide, mind to mind. Your guide's words will be in your thoughts. What does your guide tell you? see his face. Mm -hmm. You don't need to see the face. Feel it. Is your guide male or female? Male. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what your guide wants to tell you today. What does your guide say? You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So let's find out more. Why have you been brought to this place today? What does your guide tell you about this place? The more you talk, the more it'll be clear to you. I'm not sure why my body's getting hot. Mm -hmm. Let's ask your guide. I'd like for you to give me an indication of what your guide is telling you. What does your guide need to know? The energy. The energy, very good. So I'd like for you to expand yourself out of your body. See yourself lifting out of your body and let's take a look at what this energy looks like from the spiritual eyes. I can't see much anymore. Mm, very good. Very good. Allow yourself to expand even more. Expand yourself out. Ride your energy. Tell me what you feel. What are you feeling? I can't help you if you don't tell me where you are. I can't seem to find where I am. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to help you find that. I don't, have, I don't have much of an image anymore. Very good, so I'm going to count from five back to one. When we get to number one, we'll go to the place that you need to go to for this information that you're looking for today. Begin now by taking a deep breath in on five going through time and space to find the information we're looking for. Four. Deeper and deeper into the source. 
three, allow the images to appear. Two, almost there now. And one, be there now. What is this place? In my room, mm -hmm. old wooden bed mm -hmm. or metal. Mm -hmm. Tell me once why. Look all around you. What does this place look like? This room. The room almost seems circular. Mm -hmm. It's a window and a rocking. A rocking chair right next to the window. Mm -hmm. It's got like a a white floral pattern cushion. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The walls almost seem. wooden mm -hmm. like like the inside of a tree and like the outside of the tree is like on the inside mm -hmm. are you there by yourself are there others with you by myself mm -hmm. so as the observer of this room focus now on yourself what does the observer look like Human white feet. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm wearing a dress. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that dress. How long is this dress? Below my knee. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? I feel like I'm supposed to be older. Mm hmm. How old do you feel? Mm -hmm. Allow the number to come up right now. 40. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your features. What do you look like? Trust your first impression. White hair, mm -hmm. white gray hair, but it seems like I'm. I don't want you to analyze it. I just want you to tell me what you see. How long is this white gray hair? What do your features look like? Look at your face. Blue eyes. Mm-hmm. And pale I look. I have a few wrinkles. Mm-hmm. Pretty? What other impression do you get from this place? I reside here I'm alone. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this place? Very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell me more about yourself. What do you do in this place? It almost... It, it just feels like nobody knows where I am. Mm -hmm. Are you hiding there? Maybe not 
hiding, but mm-hmm. yes. It's a secret place? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's find out a little bit about what's outside of this place. The forest. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to close the scene and let's go into that place outside of your home. What's outside? Mm. You know, like a river runs mm-hmm. <laughs> like right next to it. Mm-hmm. Like maybe five, ten steps away. Mm-hmm. What do you do outside of this place that you live in? Gather water. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I, s- I seem to... Come there, I'm more connected. So I hide away. Mm-hmm. I felt alone. Mm-hmm. Nobody with you? No. Why have you chosen to hide in this place? Not except. Not accepted. So let's find out why you're not accepted. I'm going to count from three back to one, and we're going to go to a time when you were not alone, when you were with others. And let's find out your story. Taking a deep breath in now, three, going to a time when you were not alone. Two, getting younger and younger. And one. Be there now. Where are you? Hmm. Um, I seem to be right next to a building or something. Mm-hmm. It's, it's little. What does it look like, this building? Uh, yellow? Mm-hmm. Uh, people don't seem to look at me. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like I'm there. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Mm-hmm. It's almost like they... Tell me more. They don't see you? Or they don't acknowledge you? They don't acknowledge. Mm-hmm. Do you seem any younger? It, yes. Mm-hmm. It, it seems like if you acknowledge me, you get shamed. Let's find out what it is that you do that makes them feel that way. I'd like for you to close this scene and see what it is that you do that they don't like. Be there now. Hi. I'm going to get a desk. Mm-hmm. What do you do at that desk? I think I... I don't want you to think. I want you to know. What are you doing at that desk? <laughs> Nobody's in there, so I, it's hard to find out. Mm-hmm. 
I just seem to be sitting there mm -hmm. wondering if anybody will listen. Mm -hmm. What is it that you have to say? Is this something that you know? I want the children to... The... I want them to understand. Mm -hmm. What is it that... The connectiveness, the... Mm -hmm. I want them to understand that they... They have power, but they seem to... They just swallowed up in their own... Everybody thinks it's nonsense. Mm -hmm. What kind of power do you have? Um, first, I, I, I guess I connect with the trees or mm -hmm. something. I, mm -hmm. See I think yourself. that's why I was in the forest. Mm -hmm. See that connection. See what it is that you do. I touch him. When I, when I reach for one, I see a connective field that, that as my hand gets closer, it's like that field hugs it, it's happy. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a magnet, mm -hmm. in a way. And when you touch these trees, oh, do you like a white blue light that that connects from my hand in the tree? Mm -hmm. What do you get from this white blue light? Tingles. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's anything transmitted within this white blue light. Feel it. Love. Mm, very nice. What do you do with this love from the trees? It recharges me. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel not so lonely. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I think my table and my desk are all made out of wood. It's not even sand it down really to where it's all smooth you can still feel still rough mm -hmm. so let's find out more what happens next i'm going to have you close this scene and let's continue into this life and see what happens next what's the next important day of your life in that lifetime where are you Look around you, what's happening? I don't want to say a hanging, but... Allow yourself to see. It wasn't me. I Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> My sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let it out. What happened to your sister? <sighs> they don't like us. We talk rubbish. Mm -hmm. My sister, she didn't have the willpower to hold back. To to 
approach it an easier way for them. She was more blunt, Mm -hmm. more straightforward about everything. I held back just a little, a little more to belong so that I could belong. Mm -hmm. She had no fear. Take a look at your sister's eyes. The eyes of the window to the soul. Mm -hmm. There's two. There's only one hanging, but there's two ropes. Mm -hmm. She's on the left one. Oh, she seems to be wearing a dress. Not like the one I had at home. This one seems more 18, 19 style. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what do you call it? Like a bonnet mm-hmm. as well. What do you call your sister? What is her name? Amy. Mm-hmm. And what are they calling her? Witch. Mm-hmm. Where are you as you're watching this? I'm in the back. What are you feeling? Completely devastated. I lost the only person. that I had to work with me, to to be by my side, to walk with me. There are some people that don't agree, that most of them do. Look around the crowd and see if you recognize anyone else. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's my brother. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I I can't. I can't tell if it's her son. Mm -hmm. I think it's her son. Mm -hmm. It's just like three or four steps away from me. What happens next? It's, I don't know why I'm not hugging him. I, I want to say it's like we can't, like we, like if we showed that we were upset, that we would be up there too. Mm-hmm. So, he's, you're holding that in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's... I feel like I have a hood over my head. Take a look and see. Uh, it you... might not even be physical. It might just be... Just me in darkness, a dark hood, just just an energy, energetic thing. So let's close this scene now. Let's close it and see what happens next. What's the next significant event in that lifetime? Be there now. Where are you? I found myself anywhere yet. Mm-hmm. Um, Go to the last day of your life in that lifetime then. See yourself going to the last day. Be there now. Where are you? 
in my house. Back in my house. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just. I think I'm just gonna. <laughs> probably. I think I'm just gonna pass in my bed or something. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? I don't think I'm old enough to die. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or are there others with you? I'm alone. Mm -hmm. Wait. Look around. <laughs> you know. I think there's somebody at my table. Mm -hmm. Who's there? I want to say it's... It's the little boy, but he's not little anymore. Mm -hmm. I want you to use your feelings. It's like he visits me, mm -hmm. but he doesn't tell anybody. What is he doing there today? He's debating. He's questioned. Mm -hmm. Um. He doesn't know exactly what to do. Um, he he's, just, he's got his hand on his chin. He's looking at me. And I'm laying on the bed. I I wonder. I think he's pondering about what to do after I pass, or maybe just he's just there. He's just he he wants to be there for me. Very good. So take your last... But he, he's torn. Mm -hmm. Like... Like, I cause issues mm. with his immediate family. Mm -hmm. Because I'm alive. And so, it's like me going will make things better. Have you made a decision to leave? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think I decided to go. I was done being there. So I'd like for you to look around your room and see if there's anyone there that does not have a body that is with you. <laughs> is there anyone sitting with you? After I pass. During. Let's see if there's anybody in that room. Use your non-physical eyes. My dad. Mm -hmm. My sister. Mm -hmm. My mom. I think my mom, I'm not sure. All right. So but I know my sister and my dad. Mm -hmm. Take your last breath in that life. Disconnect from that body. You'll be able to see things clearer. You'll be able to understand the purpose of that life and your lessons that you learn. Tell me what happens after you leave that body. Um... My yeah, just that I did good. Who was there with was you? Who was there with you? No, not even really sure. Mm -hmm. So you use your inner hearing and listen. Listen to your guidance. What do you hear? It will come as your thoughts. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's close that scene. Close that scene. We're going to go to another memory now. Allow yourself to go drifting through time and space as I count from five back to one to find another memory that is affecting the lifetime of Darian. Taking a deep breath in as we travel on five through time and space to another time, another place. Four to a memory. Three. Allowing the images to come and one be there now. What is this memory? I think that my feet are in the grass. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about your feet. Mm. What do they look like? Black. Mm-hmm. Him. Are you male or female? Male. Mm-hmm. How old are you? Hmm. Twenty. Take a look all around you. Where is this place? Mm. Where is this grass? I see trees. Mm-hmm. They're just more clear. The trees are they've been cleared. Um mm. Like a big white house. Mm-hmm. Big. Who lives in that house? Not me. Mm-hmm. What do you feel when you see that big white house? Mm. Connect with it and see what feelings come up. Anger. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens in that house that makes you so angry. What's happening in that house? What's there? Rape. Mm -hmm. Who do you see? Looking at it from the outside. Mm -hmm. Hmm. One angry, dark body. Mm -hmm. Who is this man? Mm -hmm. Does he live in this house? He does what he wants. He takes what he wants. What is he taking today? (laughs) Every day he takes. Mm. The women. His wife doesn't like it. He doesn't care. Because he owns a house. She has no choice. She doesn't have anywhere she can go. Who are these women that he rapes? They can be white, they can be black. Doesn't matter. And he sees one he likes. How are 
are you associated with this man in the big house? I see he's so dark. I... He owns me. Mm hmm What do you do for him? I know. I'm just walking in the green grass. I... Maybe something like a, a stable boy or... Close that scene and see yourself doing that now. What is it that you do for this man? Shoe horses. Mm -hmm. He uh, doesn't do a very good job hiding what he does. Mm -hmm. We can hear it. What are you hearing right now? I'm still looking from the outside, but I know in the back room, there's somebody yelling. Mm -hmm. They don't like what he's doing. It's like when we walk around the house in some certain areas, we can hear it. How does that make you feel? Angry. <clears throat> so let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to the next important scene of that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? Mm -hmm. I'm in the stables. Mm -hmm. pushing somebody around. A white woman. I feel like it's his daughter. Mm -hmm. He's pushing her around. She's... She's sitting on the side of the stables. Mm -hmm. How old is this girl? She's my age. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 20. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a pink dress. What is he saying to her? You're trash. What happens next? Maybe she's in love with me. Feel it. Mm. Oh, mm. Couldn't. Mm -mm. No. Where? No, it's not about me. Mm -hmm. What's it about? Oh, it's, uh, she wants to leave. She wants to leave and she, he doesn't want her to go. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe he has some sort of attachment to her. She want, mm. Mm. Like, she wants to go to the city. Mm -hmm. And I, he's probably afraid she won't come back because she's not, she's not going to come back. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like him. She, I don't think she necessarily knows what he does, but she's been told. And I think she, and I, I get the feeling she's been told on many different instances, things that her father has done and she just wants to get out of there. Mm -hmm. It's like her father's done so much damage that she, she can't, she can't stay. Like, um, <laughs> like, like. Your last name's just cursed, kind of thing. Like you, <clears throat> oh, you're you're his daughter, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So she she herself couldn't really be accepted because her father was so terrible and unaccepting, or <laughs> unaccepted. I mean, mm -hmm. 
So let's see what happens next. Close that scene and let's go to the next significant scene. He's powerful. Mm -hmm. He's like a, 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 a judge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happens next? She leaves. Mm -hmm. He's devastated. He can't stop her. She walks out and he actually, he gets angry, cries. Mm -hmm. Mm. He's going to take it out on somebody. Mm, he's really mad. What happens next? Mm, he just, he shifts past me, walks through me, and leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know where he goes after right. that. So let's continue with your journey. Close this scene and let's see what happens. What's the next significant event that affects your life? Be there now. I have a hat on. I'm going to a train. Mm -hmm. Maybe I guess I'm leaving. How old are you? There's like no reason to be there if she's not there. Mm -hmm. They're 25. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, like, maybe not even 25. Mm. I've got a, I got a, I like this hat. It's a tan. I don't know how you describe those hats, but anyways. I'm waiting at the train station. Mm. They're looking at me. What? They're looking at me. But there's other black. There's other black men there. Mm. Are they looking at you? Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I. I feel like I'm a free man. Mm-hmm. Like I shoe horses. I. I don't know. Accelerate that scene and see what happens. Maybe why I said, maybe why I felt like I was owned was because he is that, he's that kind of person. If he wants you, he's going to own you. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a free man. I left and they snicker, they snicker. Mm -hmm. White women that, that... <laughs> They're nice dresses and they snicker. I still look well dressed though. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they would. I have nice clothes on. Well, not as nice as theirs, but nice. Mm -hmm. Look at the other blacks around you. Are they dressed the same? Just you? like me, yeah. Like suspenders and. Um, <clears throat> what year is this? Mm. See the year. Mm. It doesn't need to make sense. Eighteen. See it. See it right there. Ninety-five. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. What's happening? I'm just waiting. Mm -hmm. All right. As soon as the train gets here, I'm, I'll go. So allow the go to another town, another city. Allow the train to arrive, and let's see what happens as the train arrives at the station. I 
Let me get on. And... <laughs> the white men don't like me. Mm -hmm. I just look down and stay quiet. Very, 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 very polite. Always, always. You never give them ammunition. They just, they talk smack with me right there. They, and I just, I, I, I'm still polite to them. No matter what, no matter what they say and they look at me and roll their eyes and talk about my clothing and but I I feel like I'm dressed nice mm -hmm. very good so let's see where it is that this train goes I'd like for you to close this scene and now arrive at your destination be there now where are you? Kind of, um, <laughs> mm. where does it go? Just your first impression. I see a lot of dust, but mm -hmm. I don't understand why I would go to a, a dusty area. Mm -hmm. On a train. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to think. I want you to just know. Feel yourself just knowing. What is this place? Where are you? I think I went there for somebody. Mm -hmm. Allow mm. yourself to see the face. Who's there? My brother. Mm -hmm. Connect with your brother. Mm. <laughs> what do you feel? He's in trouble. Me more. <clears throat> mm. uh, it's like mm. uh, I think he's in trouble with the law, or it seems it seems more like he's in trouble with a group that has their own law. Mm -hmm. A lawless group. Mm -hmm. Um, he's just, he doesn't seem to be all that worried. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? I want him to come with me. Mm -hmm. They'll come with me, they won't be able to find him. What happens next? He doesn't want to go. He stays. <clears throat> I'm okay with it, but disappointed that I came and he doesn't want to come back. Come with me. I respect him for it. He has his reasons for staying. He's not afraid. Very good. So let's close that scene, completely close that scene, and let's go to the next significant event in that lifetime, the one that impacts your life. Shooting a gun. Mm -hmm. Where are you? On a horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you shooting it? The, mm. Um, they're shooting at me. Mm -hmm. 
Who's shooting at you? Um. What do they look like? Cowboys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have hats on. <laughs> Tell me more. Mm. We're running, but mm, I feel like we stole something. Mm -hmm. Who's with you? My brother. Mm -hmm. The bags on our horses are full of something. Mm -hmm. mm. Coins? Mm, valuables, just mm -hmm. valuables. Did you take those valuables? Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like we took them together. It was like a... Like, <laughs> I guess like getting revenge. Mm -hmm. I don't... Mm, let see. Yeah. Mm, I think we did it for revenge. Mm -hmm. So what's happening next? Let's see how this ends up. Mm. No, thank you. I think my brother got shot. How are you feeling about this? Guilty. Mm -hmm. Like I should have talked him out of it. Mm -hmm. I don't... I don't stop. Let's see what happens with you. I get away. How does that leave you now, without your brother? So guilty. Mm -hmm. So close that scene now. Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Mm hmm. Where are you? I see a white man on a bed, but. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to him. So it would be my last day. Mm -hmm. Go to your last day. Close that scene and go to your last day. In that lifetime, the lifetime in which the brother was killed. Where are mm. you? And it keeps bringing me back to the, riding the horse. Mm -hmm. um, I think I die. Take a look. Take a look in the last few moments mm -hmm. of your life and see what happens. I'm on the ground. Mm -hmm. I just look up and I can see the men on their horses looking down at me. Mm -hmm. Their guns pointed at me. Take a look at their eyes and you see if you recognize any of them. Mm 
Mm. They look familiar. There's three I'm looking at. Um, Take your last breath now. Take your last breath of that lifetime. Leaving that body behind, detaching from it. Your spirit now. Your spirit. They just unload bullets into me. Mm-hmm. They're so mad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just putting bullets in a dead body. Mm-hmm. What do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm like laughing. Mm-hmm. So let's see where this spirit goes. What do you do next after you leave that body? Where do you go? What happens next? Look all around you. Does anything change? Sorry, I'm hot. Mm -hmm. I've got to take the blanket off. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Allow yourself to just relax your body. continue on your journey. I'm going to count from 10 back to 1. With each number that I count, you're going to allow yourself to go back to that place in between lives to meet with your guides. 10. Going back now through time and space. Nine. Looking for your guides. Eight. Drifting and floating. Seven. Beyond the time. Be there now. Allow the images to come. What do you feel around you? <laughs> I feel like I'm back at my house mm-hmm. in the tree, sitting at the table with me. We've met here before. Mm-hmm. Except for last time I turned him into a woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just looking at me. Tell me who he is. Mm. Mm. Who are you looking at? He's my guide. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? <sighs> Lend him your lips and allow him to speak. What would you like to tell Darian today? Why have you brought her back to this beautiful tree? What does she need to know 
about this place. She needs to know she can come here. Mm-hmm. How is she connected to this place? This is the sanctuary. Mm-hmm. She feels calm. Mm-hmm. All the wood. All the wood being around her. Mm-hmm. Now, when she first started this session, she saw herself in this place. And then she visited the lifetime of that woman that felt so alone. Could you tell me a little bit about that lifetime? Why'd you show it to her? That is okay to be alone. It's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you need to remember that being alone in this tree is what you need, being alone in this lifetime. You'll... She feels alone, even though she's not. I want her to remember that this is what it's like to be alone. Now, who is she with when she's alone? Who guides her? Well, very hot. Mm -hmm. Very hot right now. Mm -hmm. You can adjust your body temperature on your own. Allow yourself to cover yourself with a nice, cool blanket. Mm. Allow that blanket to come down through the top of your head. Just feel your entire body cooling off with that nice, cool blanket. Feel it getting cooler and cooler. It'll get to a point where it's so cool you'll actually shiver. Feel it coming on. And as the body cools off, tell Darian, who are the ones that guide her and accompany her? Hmm. Who are they? She calls us elves. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Hmm. I guess we look similar. Mm-hmm. It makes sense to be in a tree, doesn't it? If that's what you look like. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now she tells me that ever since she was a baby that others have seen a shadow around her. Can you tell me about this shadow? Hmm. What is this shadow? Let's locate that shadow. Let's do a scan of her body and let's see what it is. Begin Mm. from the head, go through the entire body, and tell me, what is this shadow? Mm. Is this something that is attached to her? Is it something that she came in here with? Mm-hmm. I'm not connecting well. Mm-hmm. So we're going to we're going to do something. I'm going to bring my hand through the entire body, and we're going to bring that shadow up. Bring that shadow up all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Feel it coming on. 
concentrating, concentrating, concentrating. You have a nice voice now, brother. You can express yourself. What are you doing with this woman? I like her. Ah. What do you like her for? She's too nice. Mm. Are you nice? Mm -mm. Then why do you like such a nice girl? She's easy. Mm -hmm. What do you do with her? Mm, torment. Mm -hmm. Why do you torment her, brother? Mm. Are you the one making her so hot? No. No. What is it that you do to her? How do you torment her? Hmm. Well, I'll ask you what it is that you do know. What is your name, please? What can I call you? Mm -mm. Hmm? That's a very strange name. Mm -mm. Can I call you mm-mm? No. No. So no is kind of a funny name too. Can I call you no? What can I call you? Zazel. Zazel? Azazel. Azazel. So Azazel, how old are you? Two too old. That's a strange number. Azazel. If you're too old, I would think you'd be wise by now. With a lot of experience, why is it that you are tormenting this very nice girl? Hmm. What do you get by tormenting her? Hmm. Azazel, I'm speaking with you and there's a there's a law in the universe that if I address you, you need to answer me. What are you doing with this girl? Using her. Using her for what? Mm. What are you using her for? What she has. What does she have? I... What does she have that you want so much? Is it her money? Is it her voice? Is it her clothing? What is it that you like, Azazel, that you're using her for? She gives. Mm -hmm. What does she give? Love. Mm -hmm. Is that what you need, Azazel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it, Azazel, that you're so old and you're not receiving love? I'm taking it. You're taking it. It seems to me that when you take something, it doesn't feel like what, what it's meant to be. How do you take her love? Hmm. What do you do to take it? Hmm. Her dreams. Her dreams? You take it in her dreams? Mm-hmm. Azazel, how long have you been doing this with her? How long have you been taking her love in her dreams? 
How old was she? Young. Young? Like how young? Birth. From birth. Did you know her from a different lifetime, mm. Azazel? Did you know this little soul? Mm. Did you have an agreement with her? Yes. Let's find out about that agreement. Tell me when that agreement was was okayed. By her. By her. Tell me what happened. Mm. She agreed. Yes. What did she agree to? Me. Ah, did you know her before? Yes. How did you know her? Was she in one of those lifetimes? Mm, many lifetimes. Ah, let's find out what lifetime she agreed that she would come back with you. I'm going to count from one to three. And I want you to see that lifetime. One, two, and three. See that lifetime now. See that lifetime. What were you together? Mm. What were you together? Mm. Describe it for me, please. Mm. How do you know each other? Mm. <clears throat> How do you know each other? Go ahead and tell me what you're seeing. Married. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What kind of I married her. Mm-hmm. You married her? What happened? She's mine. She is? Why is she yours? I want it that way. Ah, but because you want it that way, Azazel, doesn't mean that that's the way you have to have it. You see, each lifetime is a brand new blank slate. Because you are living in one lifetime like that does not mean that you continue. Let's see what happened at that lifetime. What happened at the end? Be there now, Azazel. What happened at the end? She died. She died. So what did you say to yourself? I won't lose her again. Mm. Did she love you, Azazel? Feel her heart. Did she love you? Was this a love mm. made in heaven? Mm. Mm. She loved me. Mm -hmm. But not the same. Not the same. So I want you to look inside of her heart right now. Does she love you? Or does she love her husband? Her husband. Mm -hmm. So you see, Azazel, this is a free will planet. Just because you want her doesn't mean that you can take from her. 
It seems to me, Azazel, that all you want is love, isn't it? Yes. That's what you've been missing. And did you know, Azazel, that you had that love inside of you all this time? Did you know that? She talks about it. Mm -hmm. I want you to experience it, Azazel. Inside of your heart, there is a light. This is the spark that created you. You were created with a spark of love. Find that spark of light, Azazel. It's there. Mm. And now make it bigger. Mm. Use your intention to make it as big as you are and beyond. And tell me, Azazel, what that feels like. To feel love directly from the Creator. Mm, warm. Mm -hmm. Is this the love you were looking for, Azazel? Mm. This is the love that you were meant to go to after you left that body. Is this the same love that you've been taking from her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you see that you had it all along? Yes. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her now that you understand that you were robbing her of something that you had yourself? Mm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Talk to him, please. Do you forgive him for not knowing any better? Yes. Mm -hmm. Darren, I'd like for you to tell him that this is a free will planet and that he needs now to go back to Source and disconnect all of his essence from you. Go ahead and tell him now. We have no contract for you to go to Source. Mm -hmm. Disconnect. So I'd like for you to use your intention to go ahead and slice away all of the cords attaching you. Slice them away, and as they do, see how Azazel begins to release from your body. Azazel, take a look at yourself now. Can you forgive yourself for not knowing any better? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready now to go back home? No. What's stopping you? Mm. Is it fear? I'll go. What is it? I'll go. Well, I don't want you to go with hesitation. I want you to go with knowing. I'm going to bring in my angels of the white light and I want you to feel them all around you. They're going to give you a message, Azazel. Listen to what they say to you. I love you, brother. Mm -hmm. How does that feel to be loved? Good. Good. So I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to lead the way and I'd like for you to go with him. And tell me when you get back home. Mm -hmm. Who's there to welcome you, Azazel? God. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Good. Good. Azazel, may the love of the universe always accompany you. Thank you so much. And now, I'd like for you to detach from Azazel, and I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to step forward and go ahead and cover you in that beautiful blanket of green light, healing you, sealing you. And as he does that, let's take a look and see if there are any others that need to express themselves now.
anything else. Take a look and see if there's any shadows, any movement, any twitching. Anything that has been holding her back. What's there? What do you experience? Do a scan of that body. Stomach. The stomach. Let's take a look in the scum stomach and see what's there. Is it something attached to her or something that she created? Hmm. What's there? What's in the stomach? Hmm. Feel the energy. What does that energy feel like? Is it something hers or something outside of her? Mm -hmm. Go deep inside of it and see if it has a color or a shape. Mm. What is that? I, I can't tell. All right, so I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to bring it up, 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 and let's give it a voice. Good morning. Are you male or female? Do you have a gender? Mm. No. Mm. So tell me what it is that you are in her stomach. Are you something that she created? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that right? What is that in the stomach? What is mm. she holding in that stomach? What's there? What does she have in her stomach? Mm. <laughs> let's dive deep into that stomach and let's see what's floating in there. Let's see if there's any emotions floating around in there. If there's any sayings, any comments. What's in that stomach? What's in there? What jumps out? Mm. Mm. What is that? Mm. Trust your first impression. What is that? Black. Black. Very good. So let's look into that blackness mm. and see what's in that blackness. What is that blackness made out of? Mm. I think I created it. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you put into there to create this. Let's look and see if there's any words, any sayings. What's floating around in that blackness? What's there? Fear. Fear. Very good. So let's dive even deeper and let's see what it is that that fear is made of. Keep going deeper into that fear. It's like, like shards of glass. Mm -hmm. Like shards of glass. Very sharp. Yes. Let's see what it's created from. What kind of fears are in there? Fear of judgment. Fear of judgment. Very good. Where did this begin? That's the start of our journey. Mm -hmm. Let's pinpoint it. How old is she in the start of her journey? I see 18. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Where did this fear of judgment start? When she started to realize she was, she, she was, go ahead. 
She realized she was. It was different. Mm -hmm. People didn't understand her. Was she afraid of being hanged again? Of being shot? Yes. Mm -hmm. Show her the lifetime now. Show her that lifetime. Show her what happened. As long as she accepts herself. Mm -hmm. She just has to accept herself. Mm -hmm. What's stopping her? She's, she hasn't, judgment hasn't stopped her, it's just made her hide. Mm -hmm. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Is she always going to be running and hiding? No. No, she'll overcome. Mm -hmm. why, did, is, why did she choose this lifetime again to show her true self, knowing that she's been persecuted before? Because they won't do it this time. Mm -hmm. She's going to have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt her for it. So let's find out. Take a look at her stomach. What does her stomach look like now? Mm. Look at that stomach now. That judgment. Mm. Pink. Mm -hmm. What lifetime was she holding on to? The lady. Mm -hmm. Does she realize that that's not the same lifetime now? Does she need to hold on to that? She misses that part of her. Mm -hmm. She's trying to reconnect with that part of her. How can she reconnect and not take with it that judgment? Touch trees. Mm -hmm. Grass. And when she does that, will she reconnect once again? Yes. Mm -hmm. It calms her. It does. So now let's think about why she came into this life. What is her sole mission? Why is she here? Teach. Mm -hmm. What is she going to teach this time? Balance. Mm -hmm. Is this something that she's going to do with her own children or with others? Mm -hmm. Her own children. Okay. And where is it that this this soul came from? Is she from the source? Earth? From source. Now, it seems that she's had several different lifetimes before. Why did you show her the one of the black man? Just because you see evil doesn't mean that you have to let it seep into you. You may see it, accept it, but don't welcome it. Mm -hmm. Has she turned to darkness again? No. No. There's so much light. Mm -hmm. So if there's so much light, what caused all of this bruising that she felt? 
Mm. What was that? They didn't like her process. Mm -hmm. They started to get upset. Mm -hmm. Who are those that are against her? Demons. Mm -hmm. Why is she allowing them into her life? She hasn't now. Mm -hmm. She's expelled a few. Mm -hmm. They just wanted to bring her down. They wanted to scare her. That way she didn't become her full potential. What about now? Close. Mm -hmm. What does she need to do now? Are these still with her or are they just in her home? Home. Mm -hmm. So why has she they allowed them? Mm -hmm. What are they doing to her and to her family? Hmm. She already knows mm -hmm. this. Do they deal with her anger? I love it. Mm. What happens when she's angry? Mm. They feel accomplished. Mm -hmm. So are there any that are doing that to her now, besides what we were dealing with before, with Azazel? Are there any others that are manipulating her now? Hmm. Take a scan and see. Hmm. We... Mm. We told her... Legion. And they... Hmm. Hmm. They... In her home. Mm -hmm. Would you assist me today in clearing that home? Yes. All right. So I'd like to call in the team of angels who will be able to help me with this today. Who would you suggest be in charge today? Michael. Very good. Which was my choice. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to have Michael, with his blue flame sword, call in his whole legion of angels. Mm -hmm. And let's visit that home now, including the grounds of the home. And I'd like for you to tell me what you see. Is that a room? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what is in that room that needs assistance. What's there? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Dark figure in the corner. All right, let's find out who that dark figure is. I'd like for you to connect and let's find out who this dark figure is. Is it male or female? Male. Male. Let's find out why he's there. Why is he there? Mm hmm. He likes to watch. He likes to watch. Tell me why he likes this house and why he likes to watch. She does a lot. Mm hmm. What is it that she does that he likes to watch? Opening doors. Mm hmm. And where are these doors opening to? Everywhere. Mm hmm. And why is it that he has not gone through one of these doors? What's keeping him there? There's a lot of activity here. Mm-hmm. More to do. There's... Mm. Is he afraid? He 
Yes. Lend them your lips now and let's speak with him. You there, watching? What is your name, please? What is your name? You can speak. Are you afraid to speak? What's wrong with you? I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female? Take a look. Yeah. Are you young or are you old? How old are you? Young. Mm-hmm. How old? Mm. Are you a little boy? Mm. You can speak to me. You don't have to be afraid of me. We're going to help you today. How old are you? Mm. Ten. Ten. And what year is it for you? Nineteen ninety-five. Mm-hmm. And what happened to you? What happened to your body? Mm. I was strangled. You were strangled. Who strangled you? Dad. What happened to you? What happened to your body mm. after you were strangled? Mm. I died. Mm -hmm. Why did you stay in that house? Why did you stay in that house? What were you afraid of? Were you afraid of your dad? Mm. Why is it that you found this home? Light. Mm-hmm. Light here. Have you been doing anything to the family while you're there? Have you been affecting Dari? No. No. What name do you go by? Mark. 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 Do you know that you have your own light within you? Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. No. No, you take a look at it now. Take a look at your heart and see that light now. Take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Find that light and make it bigger. I see it. Make it real big now. Expand that light even bigger. Is this the light you were looking for, Mark? Yes. All right. Are you ready now to go to this light? Yes. All right. I'm going to ask the angels to come all around you, and they're going to send you home. Archangel Michael is right there. Take his hand. <laughs> what does he tell you? Come with me. Good. Mark, go with him, and may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Tell me when you get home. Thank you. No. Thank, thank you. And now I'd like for the angels to go ahead and do a sweep of this home and see if there's anything else there. Anything else in that home that we need to take care of? Any portals that we need to shut? Mm. Take a look and see what's going on in that house. Mm. What's there? Mm, 
it's um it's pretty clear very good very good so I'd like for you to go ahead and put a protection around that house seal it so that when she returns to it her own light will just amplify within that protection yes very good thank you so she has questions about her eating what is going on with her eating that she's not hungry mm. was this that darkness and that she stomach? hates it mm -hmm. let's find out why she hates eating it gets in the way. Mm -hmm. She she sees it as an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a burden. It's uh, it's too constant. Mm -hmm. she, she doesn't she doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and show her what's happening to her body. This You're wasting away. Uh huh. This goddess that has command of every cell in her body. I want you to see your kingdom. Every single cell, every molecule, is the subject of this queen, of this goddess. I'd like for you to look at these cells the ones that need nutrition in order to keep her alive. That is their sole purpose. And see what is she doing to her kingdom. Oh, she's destroying it. Mm -hmm. Connect with these cells now. And what do they tell you? What message do they have to give her? Connect? Mm, thirsty. Mm-hmm. Mm. So this goddess, this lazy goddess, what is she doing to all of those whose sole purpose in life is to keep her alive and healthy? And you said, what is she doing? Mm -hmm. hmm. She's not happy. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the stomach, the one who is responsible for spreading out that food. And I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to activate that stomach now. Sending the, me the, the message now that it doesn't have that darkness within it. That pink stomach. Let's begin to send the signal to her brain. What signal has she received? Mm. Nutritious food will keep you hungry. Mm -hmm. It will help you eat more. And when she is eating, will she be angry? She'll be balanced. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why she's here, isn't it? Yes. To teach balance. So how can someone who is here to teach balance live a life of not being She there? has to learn mm -hmm. her balance. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's why she's here. Mm -hmm. She has to find her own. So that means, because she has a body, she needs to learn to use that body, doesn't she? Correct. Very good. So now that she's using that body, she wants to know what's the place, best place for her to live where she will be balanced. Mm, she knows. Mm -hmm. 
Say it to her out loud. Mm -hmm. Florida. All right. Very good. What should she be doing? She's she happy here. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have the same feeling she has at home. Mm -hmm. We wanted her to get here to feel that. So when she comes here, what should she be doing as a career? What would make her happy? Hmm. She has choices. Mm -hmm. So can I ask for a guide on her behalf to help her with these choices? Yes. All right. Very good. And how will she know if it's the right place for her? She'll feel it. As soon as she starts doing it, she won't stop. Mm -hmm. All these choices, these career choices that she has laid out in front of her, she keeps diving in to bring her toes in each one. Mm -hmm. She'll feel it. Good. The water will feel it. She'll feel it. She tells me that she saw a woman in her meditation with a crown on her head. Who was that? Goddess. Goddess. What was she reminding her of? Why did she make herself known? Make her a believer. Mm -hmm. Is and it? She, uh -huh. she did that. She did that. She created yes. that. She started a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Her meditations took off. After that, she decided that it was real and. Mm -hmm. Is she the same one that said, Darren, can you hear me? Hmm. Who was that? A guide. A guide. Mm -hmm. And what about her work in, in meditation? She's trying to help the souls return to source? Was she successful? Yes. Okay, good. And what about that little girl that she saw in the park? Who was that little girl? You were trying to remind her. Mm -hmm. That she was like an angel? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about the time when she heard that her scars make her look elfish? She knew we were talking about her, but mm -hmm. she kept debating mm -hmm. because we were not using the word, mm -hmm. the right word to, <laughs> she, she jumbles things up sometimes and mm -hmm. instead of going with her first thought she wants to investigate every corner mm -hmm. and so she looks at it from every aspect when she should go with your first so stop using the analytical mind the ego yes all right go for with the first impression and her first impression when she woke up was mm -hmm. that they were speaking about her mm -hmm. she changed her mind thinking that that was egotistic of her mm -hmm. to not think that they were talking about a guide or somebody else. Mm -hmm. Well, she also has an impression that there's some connection between her granny Catherine and her. What's going on there? They're very similar. Mm -hmm. Is that because of the DNA or do they have mm -hmm. some sort of soul connection? She has her grandmother's gifts. Okay, good. How could she use those gifts? She has to acquire them better 
first. Mm -hmm. So practice? Yes. Okay. She needs to balance. Mm -hmm. So the whole, world, the whole thing is balance? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now I'd like to ask, is there anything else that I could have asked that I didn't, that you would like to tell Darian today? Be strong. Don't give in. Don't be pushed. Mm, you're... You're gonna get better. Everything is going to align. The way it's supposed to. Just keep yourself balanced and don't lose sight of who you are. Very good. Thank you very much. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you so much. Wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Mm. Welcome back. How do you feel? Mm, my face is really <laughs> tight. <laughs> all the tears. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. You mm. Let those out. How long do you think this journey was? Mm. That seemed like an hour. Feels like an hour? Yeah. Mm. Around two. Two, two. hours. Dang. A little bit longer than you thought, huh? Mm hmm We went through a lot. Do you see I how? feel like... What do you feel? I feel like it went well. Mm hmm I do. I... I feel like there are things that I'll see later, like, uh, uh, I feel like seeing you again is definitely uh, on the right at some point. Yeah, but you're doing well. You, this is your path. You don't use me as a crutch. I mean, now that no. you're connected, you'll, you know, you use this recording to put yourself back in that state. Yeah. You're going to get more and more connections. But you could see that those past lives were really affecting you, too. You know? I feel like on some parts I, I had a, a hard time connecting mm -hmm. on some parts. Yeah, but that's fine. You did great. You did fantastic. Even with the entities, like... That's okay. I that's, knew... I knew... That's how they are. What was wanting to be said, but it... Yeah. I don't know. Somehow I just expected that, that they were just gonna, you know, just talk. No, no you gotta talk for them. Yeah, I didn't know that. I was. That's why I was quiet because I was like, I've, I, I, you know, heck. it's it's like I didn't. Because mm -hmm. that's your conscious mind. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Judging. Exactly. That's all it is. That's all. Mm -hmm. You did great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Do you want to keep this private? Um, uh, if you want to use it, you can. No, some of it is private. Well, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, if you want to use it, you, you can. can use some of it. No issue with that. Oh, that was nice, though. Oh. <laughs> well, you did it. Ah. No, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Really good. Yeah? Really good. You're grounding yourself now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to shoot them out from the bottom of your feet. <laughs> yeah. So, tell everybody why you came here. What was the reason for being here? Um, uh, I've... I just... I knew I was supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. I, I literally... I seen Abba on YouTube and mm -hmm. I noticed that I felt a huge connection towards this and um, I watched her videos for about two weeks without subscribing to the newsletter. There you go. And it was October 8th 
that I subscribed to the newsletter. And then Friday came, and then Saturday your email went out. Isn't that amazing? I got the appointment. You were meant to be here. Mm-hmm. And then there's people who've been trying for like three years, and they can't come in. So it depends on how you're, if you're supposed to be here, you will. So that was divine I, timely, timing. I felt that. And um, do you feel that because of the timing of what happened this week that you were supposed yes. to be here? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, and I didn't even, I wasn't paying attention to the emails because I thought that I had already missed your newsletter because it was the 8th. Yes. So I was like, I'll get the one in November. <laughs> I had slept in. My brother took care of the kids for me that morning because I had a rough night. And I woke up, went outside for coffee. and There it is. There yeah. It is. So how did you feel in hypnosis? It was amazing. Um, you just... It's just a knowing, like you just know it's not. Mm -hmm. And then if you question yourself on it, then that's when you're going to be wrong. You go with your first one and you just, and you run with it. And just like you say, if you keep talking, it's going to keep going. That's right. And yeah, like when I saw the woman, the women hanging, I like tried to brush that out of my head thinking that that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But just, just go with what you see the first time. It's amazing. And uh, did it feel like you were hypnotized? No. No. I, it feels normal. Yeah, right? I felt like I was just there speaking to you. Yeah, yeah, that's how it feels. A lot of people think that they're going to be asleep, mm-hmm. and they're going to be gone, and no, it's not. I did, to an extent, think, think that at some parts, like if uh, like if entities speak through, that you won't remember that, <laughs> but I didn't really know. So Right. Now, you had told me afterwards that you felt that you were seeing a lot more that you weren't saying, right? Um, where there was a lot more going on behind the scenes that you weren't sure if you were going to say it or not. Is that what was going on? Not necessarily. It was more like the, the words that would pop into my head that I should have said sometimes I didn't say, Uh, because I would think that that was me making that up, but it Uh, wasn't because then after a while that would end up coming out anyway. So you would hold, you were holding back. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. People think that, that you are under total control and you're not, you, 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 you know, you, you are, you're still thinking, you're still there. So it just, it, it, if you just let it, it'll just flow out. Exactly. Exactly. So do you recommend this experience? Oh yes. Oh yes. So where where are you from? Where are you? Hobbs in Mexico. New Mexico. Oh, so long ways away. We're in Miami right now. Yeah. So uh, if you would like a session with me, just sign up for my newsletter. Go to my website, albawyman.com. Click on the hypnosis tab. Under there, you'll see newsletter. Sign up about once a month. I send out that newsletter. Mm-hmm. It could be anywhere that I'm traveling to. It could be Miami here, my home base, or it could be anywhere. So if it's near you, grab that link. Uh, click on it and if the calendar is open you can get a session yeah and they go really 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 quick like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes really fast really fast so i hope i get to meet you sometime soon and i'm uh, i hope you enjoyed this session and i hope i get to meet you and do a session with you okay bye, bye. <laughs>